We would be honored if you would join us. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Clone Wars Thursday throwback video. We're looking at Heroes of the Republic, Heroes of the 501st. We're looking at Echo and Fives, the two clone brothers that, uh, you know, ended up having some quite tragic stories, to be honest, um, particularly towards the end, but still amazing to follow their journeys throughout the Clone Wars and, and beyond, in terms of Echo. Um, who is, you know, now part of the Bad Batch, as we know. We're sort of coming up on Season 3 just in a couple of weeks. So, yeah, it's sort of first sort of clone-based video on my Clone Wars Thursday throwbacks. So, I thought I'd make it a good one and, and do two at a time, considering these two, you know, she probably shouldn't be separated. Um, they're both just so great. I don't have any packaging... Um, cards. I don't recall when I got these two. I'm pretty sure I didn't get them in the Defend Camino pack, otherwise I would still have our Trooper Blitz. Which makes me think, oh, maybe I got these gifted to me at some point. Uh, maybe they were a Tung Hori purchase back in the day. I, I, you know, my memory eludes me on these two, unfortunately. What if I went back and scaled some old haul videos from my YouTube channel? They may show up, but that's a that's a deep, deep dark dive there with you know over fifteen hundred videos to sort through on go through on my channel to find to find them. So yeah, these these were the sort of second versions. They were the shiny shinies versions uh, from the end of the rookies episode. These are sort of from the, yeah, from the Defend Camino, where at the end they get promoted to Arc Trooper. So yeah, their armor's started to define itself a little bit more. Let me see, we have, we have Fives here, who has on his helmet painted the Rishi Eel. If you look up the Rishi Eel from the moon... You kind of see how that works on his helmet there. And so he has the numeral five there on his forehead. And you've got the little goatee going on there. I just loved, loved when they did the clones with the individual head sculpts like this. There's quite a few of them. There's still some that I'm missing. Not too many, though, I don't think. I'd, I'd need to double-check and see which ones I am I am missing. I don't know if I'm missing all that many. And there we have on his shoulder the Z9, Z9 cannon, which is a little symbol and ode to uh, Heavy. We put down his... put down his life... To save the crew on the Rishi Moon. And he's got that sort of stripe pattern down there on the leg. Just as the clones starting to sort of differentiate their own looks. I still do love these animated clones. I think they look... I still think they hold up. They look fantastic. We'll take a look at Echo. Who's got the, uh, the hand... Hand on his chest. And he also has the little ode to... To Heavy there. So his arm is a little bit more simpler in terms of its paint. He's just got the two blue lines. And I love that they sort of follow, continue on with these designs with their Arc Troopers, Arc Trooper armor when they upgrade. They still go forward with the paint schemes. And there's Echo. Clean shaven. So 
So these two always always together on the shelf. You know, they don't very they don't stray too far apart from each other. You know, sort of tragic circumstances coming to the end of fives, you know. He he sort of when investigating Order 66 protocols and sort of working out what was going on with the chips while at the same time he believed the Echo had died on the Citadel. He's in fact taken taken prisoner and held for information and it wasn't until after Fives had died that they found him. So it's sort of a little bit of tragedy there that Fives, you know, put down his life not realising that Echo was still alive. And uh, I kind of hope that I was really hoping the Bad Batch would sort of touch on that a little bit with Echo. Um, and sort of play on that a little bit. I thought there was a little bit of an emotional story there for, for Echo as he sort of continued his life with the Bad Batch. And then um, it's never really been addressed. So hopefully Season 3 brings a little bit of that up. You know, with the clones sort of not sure about their purpose of the galaxy and, and all that. And sort of, I'd love to sort of delve into Echo's psyche a little bit more and sort of see how he's coping without, without fives. But that's, that's yet to, yet to be seen. We've got a, you know, in the next three months, I suppose we'll, we'll, we'll have an answer. Whether that's something Bad Batch Season 3 will bring in. Yeah, love love having these two figures. I I just need to get the uh, the original sort of versions, the almost shiny versions of these two. The sort of simple clone armor. Well, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure Echo still had the helmet there, and I'm pretty sure I put them on the wrong way. I have. Or have I? <laughs> now I'm second guessing myself. Never mind. I'll figure that out as soon as I'm done. But I do thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Be back with another one next week. And then the week after that, I'm actually going to take a week off of doing some videos. So my Power of the Force Friday won't be happening in two weeks' time. Clone Wars Thursday throwback will be back the following week so I'll see you all in a couple of weeks I appreciate your support thank you very much for sticking around and checking out my vid vids my videos I shouldn't say vids I'm too old for that um, yeah we'll catch you all very soon till then may the force be with you always